Hey guys, what's going on? And I want to welcome everyone again to another episode of Search Routes. This is episode 2, and today we're going to be focusing on the map Resistance. A map where I find it's a, it's a good map. Uh, it has its moments in and out, but um, one thing I want to, men wanted to, want to mention off the bat is that it's a map divided by a middle, and you have three sections for penetration. That's not sexual referencing, so don't get dirty thoughts, because you're gay. Alright? But that's how you want to attack it, and that's how you want to confront it. So without further ado, let's get this episode going with my ideas and tips on what you should do on the map resistance. So in today's footage, we're going to be using the G36 C cup, remember the cup at the end, with kick for the for the proficiency, excuse my, my, my stuttering, it's, it's a lot to say. Um, red dot sight, we've got uh, Kimbo 5.7, C4, concussion, recon, hardline, and dead silence is always on the G36. And we've got for the strike package, we've got assault, UAV, care package, um, and predator, ranking out kill streak after kill streak, because that is the job of this class. Alright, so now that we got the map pulled up, first off I want to say is that the map's a little iffy. It's stretched out. This is a, a very um, portrait size map, you know, it's it's like top to bottom, not really wide. Not okay, none of this is sexual, so if you're getting sexual thoughts off this, because I am, we're fucked up. Alright? But there's uh main mainly I I've, I've always considered resistance until playing with the party um a lot that A's the bomb site to to go to all the time. And the more and more I've I've played it uh, A's where you want to go first off, just because, in my opinion, it's easier to get to, easier. But you always want to have people going up the middle, which is the route you see going into the middle of the map right now, go to your right. And you want to have them watch the center building and the alleyway where the cars are. Pre-stun, right before you get get into that uh, garden area, is a perfect opportunity to get hit markers with recon and get people on the map early. All right. But if they count you at A on the first time you go, maybe try it again. But definitely on that third try, you need to switch to go to B. And make sure you, you know what's going on. You want to have at least one person go be at, be aside to call people out and say what's going on there. But um, that's offense resistance. Alright, so here we are on the offensive end of the map. And um, I'm not 100%. Oh, yeah, we are playing with a full full out party right now. So we do have a very uh, familiar way of knowing what's up. And we do end up going A-side here. Uh, the first round of this, as you can see, we did lose. I cut out the entire round because I died right off the bat here. And this is where we decided to switch to G36 because um, I don't remember what gun it was. It just wasn't doing it, you know. You need to be able to. And right there was, I guess you could say, poor coverage. Um, what you want to do is you always want to make sure you got someone going around that right corner because usually you got someone hiding behind the green trash cans there. It's iffy, you know. But you want to make sure you have someone looking that way. You always want to check the balcony. Uh, okay, there we, this round we got the priest on out on the right. Um, you want to look at balcony and then you want to look to the far left because he, late, most of the time you'll encounter someone going the far left. That's personal line defense how I like to go, but we'll save that um, for later. But we do end up going A-side again because the previous run it was effective even with my death. Alright, my death, I know. <laughs> I died. Um, heaven on earth, yeah, you know, you just cannot live without me. So, I mean, I don't know how in the name of Christ they won, but um, uh, we're, we're pushing up offensive end. And you want to make sure you got a person up here on the balcony because you want to be able to control the bomb site. alright? Controlling the bomb site is key. Now what you want to do is you want to position someone here towards the other end of the alleyway there and um, maybe someone in the alleyway over there where the other guy is but someone here to cover that doorway and this doorway and then the bomb alright um, you just want to lock this this bomb site is very easy to lock down there's only three areas four areas where they can come in the stairs the alleyway down there um, where I just pointed the alleyway down by the defensive spawn and then the tunnel underneath me so there's only four access points to this map very easy to lock down if you know what you're doing alright and uh, right here we do in fact lock down, I don't even know if we can say we locked down the bomb site, but I did get a kill there. And I do believe I picked up the final kill there, so, um, you know. I have recommended using the G36 just for specific reasons, but actually that's the end of offense right there. So, um, yeah, I mean, we only really saw like one round, full round in action there, so I hope you learned a lot. Um, defense coming up though, so I'll see you there. Alright, so here we are on defense, everybody, and, you know, the more and more I've played this map more recently, maybe just because of the variety of people, but the routes I'm watching myself sure right now, I do not see myself running as much, alright, but I do recommend you do having someone push up to the balcony area, up top uh, porch area, where we were on offense, and watch the alleyway. I prefer to go to the rubble, run through the tunnel underneath 
there and go sit in the rubble. You have a perfect sight line to the stairs. And uh, to the, if I'm looking, I'm thinking, to the right of all the cars, uh, the left of all the cars, you have a perfect sight line. And it's good for long range action, alright? Or, like I said on offense, you, when you're throwing your, your pre stun, you want to run to the green trash can and sit behind there and pick people off. Um, I do recommend setting someone in the building. I usually run that right now. I go in the building and I sit on the rubble going up and sight same down. Then I push up to the couch inside the building and look in on the courtyard. You have a perfect sight line to the little fence, white fence on the courtyard where you're most likely going to see someone sitting. All right. Um, B side, you probably want to sit back more and watch B. You don't really need to rush up the alleyway at B. It's a very open area and you do not want to get yourself caught on that. So without further ado, let's hit up some gameplay. Alright, so now we got some defensive gameplay, and being more in the G36, I'm anticipating we're sticking to the longer line of sights routes, but with that being said, let's throw down this care package, and, um, uh, I prefer to wait, I prefer, no, nah, I wouldn't even say that, but if you have a care package, usually you'll get a predator with it, at least in my, uh, opinion, that that's, you know, what you should do, but you really shouldn't, um, call in your care package unless you have a predator, that's, that's just, I feel just, I always feel like I don't really have, I don't usually get a care package unless I get a predator, you know, it's one more kill, whether you're using hardline or not, so, you know, uh, G36, you want us to do your long lines of sight, on defense and offense, mainly defense though, because, um, obviously this round we didn't even really rush out, but I don't think, we have one teammate pushed up, A side, I don't even know the names of these bounds, but the round's already over, so, <laughs> wow, this gameplay is really short, but, um, I'll look at this guy rushing, uh, off-brand, rushing, um, building usually you got someone in here no matter really what 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 they're doing but there's usually always maybe someone in there you know on defense one thing that i see a lot in my when i play with people or just when i play by myself is the aggressiveness you show um usually it takes us if we're on let's say defense and we get railed the first round because we're too aggressive and they're camping we always say that we always say we shouldn't push up but then somehow we always end up pushing up um, and you do not want to push up on um, on offense. You just don't want to. You just don't want to get yourself caught in that situation where you're pushed up on offense. I mean on defense. Why am I keep saying offense? But we do get an AC-130 gunner here, where we basically lock down the bomb site. I'm pretty sure I'm actually the only one alive right now. Even um, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, we've got the the whole area kind of locked down with the AC-130 right here. So um, get the lucky care package drops. I feel like. When on, especially when we lose rounds or where uh, something goes wrong on defense or offense when I'm playing with a party, and they get and the enemy team has got like a scrub that gets a random care package. It's like what the what the heck, you know? But this guy obviously has blind eye, but we still pick him up, so it's no harm no foul there, you know. But th then uh, the whole concept of him not getting me, I, I guess, isn't wasn't really a good thing. And this is, I guess you could say, is kind of lucky. But we do get the stuns off. I don't think we registered any hits hits here now that guy poor judge from calling his part you don't want to rush right at me you know even though that's what i would do personally you don't want to get yourself doing that and their whole team rage quits don't you hate when that happens it just shows you how much of scrubs people can be so um actually we don't even have to stop this recording because uh, we got the picture at the end but final score is 12 and 2 s and d on resistance offense and defense routes shown um in the future I'm hoping to get the highlight of the routes that I would run or the the intensity of the routes or what direction maybe you should look at when you run the route or where the enemies are going to be. But let's get the comment section flowing with what you want to see in this series specifically. What type of uh, pictures on the maps will you want me to talk about via the routes that you run and where people are going to come at and what, what do you want to see me do? All right. One thing that I really noticed me, my personal self doing is when I watch these gameplays with these routes and I look at the charts, I look and see that I really don't run some of these routes anymore. These resistance routes, I don't do any of what I really say anymore. I focus more on the middle, um, both offense and defense lately. Now, I don't know why. Maybe that's because, it's because half of my team ends up going the route I say in the video. But... Excuse me. It's all really what you what you're most comfortable with, you know. Usually, I don't use G36 on this map, but I did in this gameplay, you know. So you really don't know what type of setup you're going to use, and it, it implies into if you die the first round and the gun you're using is not working either because of the range or the, the what it's producing, switch it up. All right, switch it up and do what you got to do. So hope you guys enjoyed the second episode. New episode next Friday, hopefully, but I cannot promise anything. The uh, school is getting more intense, and sports have started. 
next Monday. So, th hope you guys have everyone enjoyed the video. Let's show that comment section, the like, and if you enjoyed the video, let's show it all some love, and let's see what we can do. Thanks for watching, and I hope everyone has a great weekend.